minimal but glam New Year's Eve party style makeup look and I mean it's quite a lot of makeup and it's just like glowy bronze skin and a simple golden brown cut crease and just nude lips but obviously the lips could be like switched up to be something more like bright like red like I'd probably wear red if I did go out with it on but I'm probably I'm gonna go out with this on for New Year's myself so if you was wondering that's what I'm doing but yeah if you want to see how I got this look please keep watching so first of all I'm gonna start off with my Smashbox photo finish private water and then while that's drying I'm going to do my brows it's in my Stasi Beverly Hills dip brow in ebony mirror right so I'm just taking a spooling and I'm brushing my eyebrows out and right a little bit of this really does go a long way so you've got to be careful So I'm just drawing a line under underneath my brow and they should start to sugar there in the middle of it there and there. So that's how you know you've got your eyebrow proportions right. Then I'm drawing a line on the, on the top. I'm just trying to follow my natural arch doesn't always work out. <laughs> and then when you get closer to the front of my brow, I change the direction of my, my strokes. Right, so that's one brow, I think. I should make it a bit thicker. Right there, that's one brow. I'm going to underline it with my boiling point. You can see that I've got a so Take it on a this is the Detailer Brush by Real Techniques. Underlining it. Like this. And then... Taking my finger and... Blending it down. Do the same on the top of it. It's quite tricky. I'm going to go and do my other eyebrow off camera, but I'll be back. Like that. And then I just blended it in. With my finger. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit too which I'm going to blend it all around like that and then I'm going to set it with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and my Real Techniques pointed foundation brush right so 
I am actually going to be using the, this chocolate bar palette. So first of all, I took salted caramel. Right, this is just a blending brush that I got in a brush set from MAC ages and ages ago. I'm going to start with that quite high up. And oh my god, I got this palette for Christmas. And it just... It just smells of chocolate. That when you open it, that's all you can smell. It's amazing. And then I'm gonna go in with shade milk chocolate. Just take that still. I've got a hair on my lid. Still quite high up, but enough to see that you can still see that I'm wearing salted caramel. To help blend and then I'm going to take shade semi sweet this is just some random brush put that even lower down in the crease and then go back in with this blending brush yeah yeah I still have my pyjamas on, they're from Topshop and then I'm going to go in with triple fudge right on my that burn there, I don't know what it's called and just blend all this back in then I'm going to take my primer potion again Put it on my eyelid about that much and then take my detailer brush the same one I used to carve my eyebrows and I'm gonna attempt to cut my crease see what I'm doing but I don't really know if anybody's got any like better techniques to do this please let me know because it would be greatly appreciated there's a struggle doing this so much I just put my brush in the palette. <laughs> right. That appears to be about equal. Oh, that's a brush. So now I'm just taking this creme brulee shade, putting that all over my lid as a base colour, as I am going to be applying a pigment very shortly you don't have to be extremely neat with this because we are going to clean it up oh this is just some flat brush I got in a set of 20 different types of flat brushes and other stuff like that it was mainly flat brushes to be honest from so eBay or Amazon, something like that, just some cheap ones. But they turned out to be actually quite good. So then I'm just going to take my Urban Decay All Night and Makeup Setting Spray and just spritz this brush. I'm taking my Illamasqua Pure Pigment in the shade Fortune. Ooh. Some of that up. Now this is amazing. I'm gonna pack this all over my 
lid on top of the creme brulee shade. This is so good, like, it doesn't even have any fallout. That's my phone. Popular. And um, yeah. So just pressing it on. Not rubbing. Now, the lady in the shop when my mum got this said these pigments could be compared to the Urban Decay Glitter Eyeliners. I've been dying to get my hands on there. Oh, what's it called? Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. But I just cannot find it anywhere. And everywhere I look, it's out of stock. And it is so irritating. So if anybody knows anywhere where that's stocked as well, please let me know. All right, now I'm just going to take a shade White Chocolate. Put that under brow bone. I'm going to take my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and just do a, I don't really know if it's a thin wing, it's just a wing, say medium, because the lashes I'm going to apply are quite thick. So I was thinking to do reasonably thick wing, but not ridiculously thick that we can't see my eyelid anymore. Just needs to be a little bit longer. Alright, I'd say these two are fairly equal. So I'm just going to take a damp deodorant, put some micellar cleansing water on it. Oh. Eyeshadow and stuff like that. Oh, I'm just gonna wipe the wing off. It's okay. I'm gonna get rid of all the this tiny bit of fallout. I don't know if you can see. So now I'm going to put, I'm using the House of Lashes Iconics. Then now I've used these literally about 14 times now, and they're still good to go. Pick up a bit of glue left over on this one. Nice. The more you use them, the easier it does get to apply. So I'm just using my Duo Dark Lash Glue. This helps so much more if you have a darker eyelash glue. It helps the eyelashes actually blend into your eyeliner. So while they're drying, I'm going to use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Sorry, my mirror's down. Yeah. It's a lot easier to apply mascara as well if you're looking down. So I'm just going to my tweezers. I'm going to attempt to do this on camera, but these are a bit sticky. If it doesn't work, I'm going to do it off camera and come back. Oh, I don't need to. I don't know what's going on here. No, actually, it's the same. Never mind. Still sticky. If your tweezers are sticky, it makes it very, very difficult to apply false lashes because they just stick to the lash. 
which is not ideal. Right, oh, that way. Right, okay. Right, I'm hoping I've waited long enough. So I just kind of lower them down and then like put them where I want them so like if I want the inner corners to be in a bit more I'll drag them with my tweezers just needs to stick This has got such a thick lash band, it's very hard to like bend it. But other than that, once you're once they're on, you can't stuck. You can't even tell they're like on. They're just so light and fluttery. If you can see, so that that's the eye look. So. I want to my skin to be. I don't want to close that. A little bit glowier. So I'm using my Benefit Girl Meets Pearl. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this because this is amazing. It's like a liquid illuminator, but it goes so nicely on your skin. Kind of like put that all over. Don't hate me. I've put it on my lips right now. I'm sorry it'll come off. Now I do this before primer because sometimes when you put this on primer then um, you mean foundation struggles sticking because it is not very like sticky it doesn't go tacky it just dries so it's just another, another layer of skin or that's how I found it Anyway, so I'm just gonna even know where it is. Too Faced Hangover X Primer, which I find amazing. Makes your skin so soft. And makes foundation literally apply effortlessly and flawlessly and amazingly. If you're looking for a new primer, I would highly recommend this one. Make sure you put it down your neck as well. My forehead. Oh. Thing that really irritates me about my eyes, just in general, is these eyelashes. They grow straight out, and these ones grow like up with a curl. So whenever I put false eyelashes on, it really emphasises that, and I do not have a clue what I can do about it. Right, so now that's on, I'm going to use my Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen in shade Honey and I'm just going to apply this with a Real Techniques buffing brush. So I do like a pump and a half and put it straight on the brush. Now I've just fake tan so this shade is like perfect for me. Normally it's a bit dark, but when I've got fresh fake tan on, it's the best foundation shade for me. Also, it's not ridiculously full coverage. I'd say it's more light to medium, so you can still see the glowiness come through from the. Girl meets Pearl. I didn't put on before. I really want to try the Becca Backlight filter as well because I love having glowy skin, but just haven't got around to buying it. But I have just bought about an hour ago 
the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, which I am so excited about, like ridiculously excited for. Right, that looks to be all blended in. I'm just going to use my Too Faced Born this way concealer in very fair. Some people say that this concealer is very pinky, but I haven't got yellowy undertones and it's not, I don't know. I don't think it's pinky, I think it's more just white or neutral. The fair one, that is literally like baby pink. But really no. I'm just putting this under my eyes and the centre of my nose. Keep his both chin. And a bit on my forehead. Right, I'm just gonna go wet my beauty bender. Just wet my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge. I'm just gonna spray it with some setting spray. Now I'm gonna. Mm. God, I got that all in. <laughs> Oops. And just blend out my under eyes. I always blend it out with setting spray because this is where I crease a lot throughout the day, like under my eyes and around my nose. So if you put setting spray on as well, it gives you like that extra. I'm gonna use a fat end. I mean the flat, <laughs> the flat end. So that extra like the security that your makeup's going to stay on. I'm just going to blend all around the face with the flat end just to make sure everything is seamless. So also a lot of people have been asking me about my new nose piercing. I'm just going to take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and like asking me did it hurt and all things like that and the actual nose piercing itself didn't hurt hurt more they put like this tube at my nose to stop it like going through like both sides of your nose and that hurt more I don't know if it is because I've got like little nostrils or whatever but that bit was quite painful but when they actually put the needle in it was just like a oh kind of shock not like a ow and though afterwards I did think I was gonna like pass out didn't feel too good afterwards but the girl who I went with said that it was perhaps because I hadn't eaten beforehand so yeah I'm just using like a bigger I'm going to brush this at the rest of my face, this is just the Urban Studio powder brush. I got this from TJ Maxx in America. That's like the English equivalent to TK Maxx, you probably already knew that. So uh, we are blending all that in and I'm just going to take my Benefit Ready Set Brow and just quickly set my eyebrows. Right, there's a message that's just like popped up on my camera saying that it's gonna die soon, which is great, so wonder how long the battery actually lasts for. <laughs> so next I'm gonna take my oh where is it? MAC bronzing powder. Right, I know I'm vegan and a lot of these products aren't cruelty free, but I have had them for, I've had this for nearly two years, as you can see it's nearly dead. And like, oh the benefit, I didn't even know benefit, still tested on animals. I thought they'd stop the girl at the counter. 
told me yep, no don't test on animals, they're all cruelty free, power room free, all that, but I found out that they actually do test on animals, so I stopped buying from them. I haven't bought from Mac in literally over a year now. I didn't even know like when I used to buy all the Mac products and everything, I didn't even like know what animal testing was or like how extreme it is and horrible and, and ugh, I just didn't know so it's kind of my own fault for being so uneducated but people are like why don't you just throw them out and the camera's like slipped well throwing them out would just be like a waste because the company have already got your money like you already paid for it so you might as well use it because the damage is done when you buy it the damage isn't done by using it people are saying that like, it shouldn't be advertising these products or whatever but I already had them before I went vegan so I don't really think I'm doing anything wrong it's good makeup and Mac is supposedly going back cruelty free soon anyway and I'm just going to use the Cocoa Contour Kit by Too Faced, and I'm gonna use both the shades. Yeah, but <laughs> Mac are supposed to be going back cruelty free, as they used to be cruelty free, and then in 2012 they decided that to just start selling in China again which is really annoying because I really really like MAC as a brand like I've got two studio fix fluid foundations, mascara, mascaras, I've had highlighters, eyebrow pomades or whatever they're called, the little fluid gel line eyeliner things I don't know, um, lipsticks, lip liners, I've had everything from MAC and uh, everything I've had has been it's like nose contouring. Everything I've had has been like amazing and of such good quality. And I still have a lot of it now. I mean, I've given, I gave my friend my soft and gentle highlighter because I started like fake tanning and properly getting into tanning it just using the light shade down the middle of my nose. And it just got too, too light for me and I couldn't use it anymore. I also gave her my eyebrow thing because it was from when I had blonde hair. I was taking the light shade under my eyes as well. In my, not my forehead, props. Good idea. And it just got, it just didn't look right anymore. So, my nose contour sometimes looks really dodgy. But I think it's okay today. Right, and then I'm going to take my fluffy brush here it is I'm just gonna take milk chocolate under my eyes like so and then I'm probably gonna put that triple fudge as well tiny 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 bit just in the outer corner just so it like blends like the top of my eyelids it probably would have been a good idea to see me when I was doing my eyes but I always think of good ideas after I've done what I was doing oh so I've got Shock another flat brush and I'm going to take shade Champagne Truffle which is just that long one there. And I'm also going to use this as my face highlight as well because I saw um, it looks like an amazing in a corner highlight and I saw someone actually, I can't remember who it was but I would say, use it as an actual face highlight. So I'm going to try it and if you like it's no good then. I'll use my trusty Laura Geller. So sorry, I have I have a cold. I have a cold. 
I'm just going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just quickly put it underneath lashes. Not underneath lashes, you know what I mean? Lower lashes. Oh, that's so typical me. I actually just rub it in and make it... Oh, I give up, it's fine. Oh, I've got it on my nose as well. I'm useless with mascara. Get it everywhere. Everywhere but my eyelashes. So that's that. Yeah, so I'm going to try this highlighter. I mean, try champagne whatever as a highlighter. Champagne truffle. See what it's like and if it's not. Hmm. That's actually not that bad. Might be that I've already got highlight on my brush, but I am gonna take my trusty Laura Geller Gilded Honey. It's my favourite. It's so difficult to open. Mask lip pencil in woo. I got this for Christmas. My mum got me it. Like my mum knows me so well. It is lovely, and it is so creamy, so creamy. lining her lips and then filling them in my lips are really dry at the moment because I've had it cold and then I'm going to take my Illa Masca lipstick in Starkers really lovely nude. Just put that all over my lips. I think this would also look nice with a red lip as well. Like if I was going to wear this for like New Year's or whatever, probably wear it with the red lip because red and gold oh my god they go so well together and I'm just gonna set my face with the Urban Decay drown myself in it good idea so yeah that's the finished look hope you enjoyed watching and subscribe like comment 